Hello, hello, Kenny Evans here in the car video. And the topic of this video is how to pass a woman's shit tests. And this is obviously pretty important when you're out and about talking to women and dealing with women even in your relationships because shit tests are going to happen as long as you interact with women, period. You can't escape them. Obviously, if she's really interested in you and she's really happy, you know, they're going to be very minimal, very few, but they still will happen every now and then. It's just a part of life, you know what I mean? So, but, you know, knowing how to deal with them is very important when it comes to success with women because she could have had interest in you and she wanted to test you to see what you're really made of. And if you crumble under that test, she could lose attraction for you. You know, so, and a lot of this stuff is, um, you know, bi biological when it comes to men and women. Obviously, women want the strongest, most dominant man they can, they can get. So, in our modern society, you know, we're not going to be hunting and, you know, fighting in, in wars against other tribes. You know what I mean? So, what we do, since our, our society is pretty modern and pretty comfortable... When it comes to men and women interactions, women will test you to see how strong, how confident you truly are. You know what I mean? So it is a part of the game. You know, we all got to learn it and we all got to do better as men, strong men specifically, uh, to overcome them. So and that way we, we look at the best we can, not only to us, but to the woman and we're able to get them, you know, so. It's all pretty easy, pretty simple, you know, but it is, uh, you know, very important at the same time. So first thing you must always do when it comes to passing a woman's shit tests or tests is stay calm and do not go back at her. Because, again, these these shit tests that women put men through are to test men generally because of their own insecurity and they want to see that you're stronger than them or more confident than them. So if you go back at them and shit test them or talk bad about them, you not only did you fail, but you showed that you are just as insecure and weak as they are. And now, if you, especially if you get in an argument and go back, I mean, it's over. <laughs> you're not getting anywhere with that girl. You know what I mean? So... And what I was talking about when it comes to, um, you know, uh, prehistoric humans and all that stuff, dealing with that tension, you don't have to do the hunting and all that stuff and fighting wars. And so it is all about showing your dominance. You got to be dominant man, you know, and a strong man. So that is what it's all about. And this is a sign being able to handle pressure. Because there's always going to be pressure with women, you know, especially with all that they got going on. So um, not being like a woman shows a lot of strength and confidence and is obviously very attractive to women. Because especially nowadays, we got a lot of guys who like to act like women. We want to be blame women and, you know, want to be like women, hold women to the same standards that they should they hold themselves to. Yeah, and it's very unattractive, and but that's a lot of the reason how um, our society is how it is today. So uh, definitely don't ever, don't ever, you know, be too high or um, go back at women. It's just it's never a good look, and it'll just uh, end things in a bad direction. You know, um, but next you want to agree and amplify. So, uh, agree and amplify is pretty much saying that uh, if a woman uh, talks bad about you, you agree with her and amplify uh, whatever she was talking bad about. Let's say she says, man, you have a big nose. Say, I do, I know, right? It's only the better uh, to, to, to help me smell you with. <laughs> or she says, oh man, you're ugly. I never talked to you if you're the last man on earth. I said, I know, I am ugly, but it's only uh, to help you get more used to dealing with people 
who are not as attractive to you. You got to be able to interact with different people. So I'm here to help you. You know, that's pretty much the ultimate girl calling you ugly. You know what I mean? Or she says, you, you have a bad voice. I don't like your voice. Might not get that as often. But say, hey, I know. But it's all about helping you deal with people's uh, different characteristics and voices and getting you used to being around different kinds of people and being more tolerant. Well, I mean, and those are kind of basic, but the bottom line is you want to um, not take it personal and see the bright side. How is it going to help her and how is it going to make you look better? You know, so definitely something to always keep in mind. Yeah, agree and amplify. Second, a grand compliment. Uh, same principle, you know, but a little bit different. So it's amplifying it. You compliment, obviously. So she says, man, you're ugly. Say, I know I'm ugly, but I'm the best looking ugly I you've ever met. <laughs> you know, maybe they laugh and, you know, but it, 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 it makes you look better. It makes you seem more confident. Man, you got some big ears. Yeah. But I'm the best looking guy with the big ears you've ever seen, huh? Oh, man, you're annoying. I know, but I'm the coolest, most annoying guy you've ever met. You know, it's just, you just, it's very simple. You just don't take it seriously. And you just be like, you know, it's all about an opportunity to build yourself up. And it's not for you, but for her to let her know you don't care. And you are comfortable with whatever she's going to throw at you. You know what I mean? Being able to handle that tension is crucial. It's crucial. It's very crucial as a man. Or a key one is just being indifferent. You know? Acting like you don't care. Say, you are ugly. Say, okay. <laughs> so what? What's your point? You know, throw it back at her. Or whatever it is. You know, you're... You know, you you got big ears. Okay, cool. I like my ears. What's your point? You know, with a smirk on your face. You know, let it go. And then you kind of go back. And if you're really good, you kind of maneuver it and get her interested in you. You know, the key is just, again, just because the indifference is really with everything. But whether you amplify or compliment yourself... That's just extra. You know what I mean? But you could just be indifferent and be like, you just don't care. It's like it's not a big deal. You know what I mean? Yeah, that lawnmower. Lawnmower. Uh, raise my window a little bit just to kind of get rid of the the noise a little bit. But, um, yeah, being indifferent is crucial as well. Because it shows you just you don't care. <laughs> and if you don't care, she won't care. You know, so it's very crucial. But, you know, this one is a little bit more controversial. But this one is also very important, too. And very, uh, very, very uh, good to use as well. Just, and it is just totally disagreeing with her. She says, you're ugly. I say, I don't think so. And then you can just kind of change the subject. Or she says, oh, man, you're breasting. Say, I don't think so. And sure, that may be a little bit subjective. She may walk away. She walks away, let her go. Say, I don't think so. And you maybe you just smell it. <laughs> but hey, you got a mint. You think my breast friend give you a mint? You know? And that's a little risky because she she may not be willing to deal with you because of the breast thing. But if you're able to, you know, deal with it. You know, and kind of have a confident way of dealing with it. She may still want to deal with you. And again, it, that stuff's a little bit more risky, you know. Um, or she says, hey, you got big ears or you got big nose. Be like, hey, I don't think so. I love my ears. I love my nose. I think I look good. And even though that's kind of like, um, you know, uh, even though it's a disagree and compliment, but it's kind of like the agree and compliment. But just kind of different but the bottom line is you just don't care because some women will do that to test you some women will say it because they truly believe it but the key is realizing that you don't care whatever she says 
you don't care as the man. And you just take it as she's just joking with you. You know what I mean? That's the mindset. So, ah, yeah, she already wants me. I already know she wants The abundance mindset. Take it as she wants you. She's just joking with you. You know what I mean? And she is just really just wanting to be funny. You know, she always say everything with a smirk on your face. You know, be relaxed. Be calm. Say, ah, this is fun. You know, she's joking with me. I already know she wants me. And you always keep that in mind that what she says will not diminish you. Because you are a strong, confident, alpha male, select male. And you are the man that all women want. Until she shows you that you don't want her anymore. You know, so that's all very important. And, um, you know, you always got to realize that if you don't care about something, a girl won't care about something. Or other people in general won't care. So that is very important to stay calm and stay relaxed and be as confident as you can. And always take it as a joke when they don't want to te shit test you. You know what I mean? And eventually they'll stop. Or if they go too far, you can always cut them off. So but that's all I got for y'all today. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, whether you agree or you disagree. You know, even if you dislike, it's all good. Uh, let me know what you disagreed about. You know, and I always want you guys to um, let me know in the comments what, you, what other videos you would like me to talk about. Let me know. I'm down for whatever, as long as it's within the topic. You know, uh, just let me know. And of course, if you found value in this video, don't forget to donate. I appreciate donations. They're all very helpful. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for y'all. Until um, next week, I'll see you guys. Peace.